everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We're getting tremendous inspiration from this book called A Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe, The Mathematical Archetypes of Nature, Art, and Science, A Voyage from 1 to 10. We've been working on the Pentad for several lessons and today we're going to do the Golden Rectangle. For this, you'll need a sheet of paper, a compass, and a straight edge. You'll also need a pencil and I'm going to show you three different different versions to do this. One of them is using the edge of your paper as a guide in order to do your golden rectangle. I am measuring a square that is three inches on each side and I am using the edge of the paper in order to help me construct this. Now this is one way to do it but I have two more ways to share with you as well. Each way has its pros and cons that I'll walk you through. For this one, you do not need a compass in order to create your perfect square, but you still will need a compass in order to create your golden rectangle. So I'm going to now draw out my square. Now that I have measured three inches on each side, I am going to use my calipers just to confirm that it is three inches and it's just a hair over three inches. Next, we want to find the midpoint. Again, I'm using my calipers to do this. I have done this project just using a ruler and the accuracy was not good enough in order to make multiple golden rectangles that are either nesting or expanding. So I do recommend calipers if you have them. I'm going to draw a line straight through from the top to the bottom. It's not necessary. You just need your midpoint at the top and the bottom. We're going to set our compass at the top midpoint and adjust it so that it reaches the lower part of our square right on the corner. And now we're going to swing our arc up. We're going to place our compass at the bottom part of our square and once again swing an arc from the corner down. We're going to erase that line as we don't need it now and we're going to extend our square so that it meets that arc and then once again from the top all the way down so that we can create our golden rectangle. We can erase those arcs that were necessary in order to create our golden rectangle. We don't need them anymore. And now we can measure our square and our rectangle. So that would be the larger and the smaller portion of this golden rectangle to get our golden ratio. So we've measured the shorter and the longer, and we will also measure the total so that we can do our math to find the proportions of the lesser to the larger and the larger to the whole. And we're going to be looking for phi, which is the smaller of the golden ratio versus phi, which is the larger of the golden ratio. So we have 0.637, which is not that great, for our lesser to our larger, and we have 0 0.610 for our larger to the whole. So this was fair, but we can do better. Okay, so now I'm going to use the calipers in order to measure out a square that is four inches long and four inches high. And using the calipers will help you get a very accurate measurement, but you also want to make sure that you are using your straight edge to get the straightest parallel line to create your square. And so I measured all the way across the page to ensure that it's going to be straight and four inches from one side of our square to the other. So we've found our midpoint. And once again, we're going to swing our arc from the midpoint to the corner. And now we can connect those arcs down and now we've created our little rectangle, our larger rectangle, and now we can do the math and see if we got any more accuracy by doing it this way. As, again, we're still using our page to help us with finding the golden rectangle, but I have one more method that uses a compass to make a perfect square. So now we're going to take our measurements for our lesser and our larger portion and our larger portion to the whole portion. We're going to do our math and we find that we have 0.615, which is pretty good, and 0.619, which is pretty good as well, even a little bit better. So now we're going to use our compass and set our radius to about three inches. It can be larger or smaller depending on the size of your page. We're going to draw our circle and then use our straight edge to draw our diameter that goes right through the center of our circle. Next, we're going to extend our 
compass, set it at the bottom of that diameter, and swing an arc on the right and left side. We're going to repeat that process at the top of the diameter so that our arcs cross. And where they cross, we have two points that we can connect right through the center of our circle. And this is going to bisect our diameter and give us four division of a circle. We can erase those extra arcs, they're not needed, and now we can connect our four points to create our perfect square. So I'm going to use our straight edge and our pencil to connect each of these points, and this is another way to create a perfect square in the center of a page without using the corners of your paper as a guide to create your square. And this is a really thrilling part of this lesson if you do have the opportunity, I highly recommend that you use a compass to create your perfect square. And then from our square, then we can create our golden rectangle. So I'm going to measure our square at this point because we do want to find the midpoint of our square. I'm going to erase all of these extra lines as they are not necessary at this point. And we can also erase our circle. It was just necessary in order to find our square to begin with. So once everything's erased, we can then do the math to find the midpoint. So I'm just going to use my calculator to find the midpoint of our square and use my calipers in order to measure. So we're going to be having to do a little bit of estimation here since I don't have the ability to go more than two decimal points with my calipers. So I'm going to mark it at 1.89 inches at the top and at the bottom. And once again, I am going to connect those points, though you just need those points. You don't need to draw a line all the way through. We're going to set our compass at that midpoint and at the corner of our square and draw an arc and do the same at the bottom so that we have our are both of our arcs and now we can extend our square using our straight edge at the top and the bottom and then we can connect where those arcs cross and now we have created our golden rectangle once again we're going to erase all those extra arcs and lines so that we can measure our lesser portion and our larger portion i'm going to write those parts down so that we can find our golden ratio and see if we got any closer to the golden ratio we measured our smaller to the larger and we got 0.617 so we're doing really well now we're going to measure our larger portion to the whole and we have 0.618 which is even better and as a reminder phi is 0.618 and of course those digits go on to infinity i hope that you enjoyed this look at our lesson three different ways that you can construct the golden rectangle i hope that you'll check out the blog post that accompanies this video it has more information on this lesson as well as links to all of the materials that we used you can find the link to that blog post in the description box below. And if you'd like to see what we're doing for geometry on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.